beat the boredom. Hello, this is the Barnsley Samba Drumming Challenge. My name is Matt Townsend. Uh, I work for Barnsley Music Service as a percussion teacher. And today I'm going to teach you how to play samba using things from around the house. To recreate some samba instruments, we're going to be using a cheese grater, we've got a bottle full of bottle caps, we could use a painting, we've even got a watering can, and a good old Barnsley wheelie bin. So I'll see you inside and we're going to look at the rhythms. So, welcome to the Barnsley Samba Drumming Challenge. One of my roles at Barnsley Music Service is to go around schools in Barnsley teaching all different kinds of music, one of them being samba, it's from Brazil. It's really fun, really energetic, but we do need uh, around four or five people to do this. So I think it'd be really good, especially for our families and children who are isolating at home at the minute, uh, especially those who haven't been able to go to school. I think this would be great learning at home, a great creative way to make music using things lying around the house. So our first instrument we're going to talk about is the agogo bells. Now there's two bells, high and low. I don't have any agogo bells at home, so I'm going to show you on these two glasses. Now I've chosen two glasses, one with a high pitch and one with a low pitch. The rhythm is, I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. This is the rhythm. I like coffee, I like tea. The I like is on the high pitch and the coffee and tea on the low pitch. I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. Could use two different sized bottles or two of the same bottle. Uh, put a bit of water in one to create a different pitch. So that's the rhythm again. I like coffee, I like tea. After four, we're going to practice that together. One, two, three, four. I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. That's Yorkshire tea, if you can get any. So... I'll put the glasses to one side and we're going to talk about the shaker. Now in Sambo, they, we call a shaker a ganza. I don't have a ganza at the minute, but I have this tiny little leg shaker. If you haven't got a shaker at home, or a tambourine would work as well if you've got a tambourine. All I've done is got a bottle and filled it with bottle caps. Sounds just like a shaker. The shaker's rhythm just keeps going and we're going to use the word Barnsley. Barnsley, 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 Barnsley. Two sounds, Barnsley. Put that together with the Agogo bell pattern, the Agogo glasses. I'm just using a teaspoon by the way. The other way around. I like coffee, I like tea. Barnsley, Barnsley, Barnsley. So that's, I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. Bounce So you have one, one person playing the bells. So we keep that going. The next person. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Put it together. Right, put them to one side. The next instrument we're going to try and recreate is a snare drum. In Brazil we call it a caixa. It's a two-headed drum and one side has wires that vibrate when you play the other side. So put that on the table. The rhythm is Coca-Cola coffee. Coca-Cola coffee. You can use our, uh, our hands. If you have some sticks of any kind, but if we don't have a snare drum at home, you can get a bit more creative. Get yourself in the kitchen. We've got a cheese grater and a whisk. We use a baking tray, anything made from metal really. So I'm going to try and do the snare drum, cash apart with the bells. Here goes. Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee. I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. So we need 
two people, one person playing. Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee. So we're up to three parts now. I like coffee, I like tea. Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee. And the shaker. Fansley, 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 Fansley. So our next instrument, we need to go back to the garden. We're going to learn how to do the serdo part. The serdo is like a bass drum. It's just the largest drum in the samba band and it plays all the low bass sounds. See you in the garden. To recreate the serdo, we need something that has a low pitch, something with a deep sound. I've got a few things here to show you. We could use a paint tin. Watering can. The bigger the better, really. I'm going to try this wheel a bit. So the rhythm goes coffee, shush. So coffee, then a rest. Coffee, shh. Coffee, shh. Let's try on the wheel a bit. One, two, three, four. In the rest, if you want to add an hand clap, that'll sound even better. A bit like we will rock you. So that's the Serdo. Anything with the deep sound, see what you can find it on. So now we're going to do the introduction. We need one person to be the leader and the rest of us will follow. So whoever, whoever we choose, they're going to use their instrument to play. Are you ready? We're going to ask everyone if they're ready. Are you ready? And everyone else replies, yes we are. So we've got the cheese grater. We'll say this is the person playing the bells. The leader will go, are you ready? Yes, we are. You can say it out loud. It's just a nice way to start the samba. Before we start playing the main rhythm that we've just been learning, we do this. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you ready? Yes, we are. One, two, three, four, stop. It's a nice way to start it. So let's try that again. Leader playing the cheese grater and everybody else following. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you ready? Yes, we are. So that's the Barnsley Samba Drumming Challenge. That's all the instruments and parts. We've got the Agogo Bells on the glasses. I like coffee, I like tea. We've got the shaker playing Barnsley, Barnsley. Something that shakes, bottle tops in a bottle. You could put little stones or gravel into a bottle, a Pringles can, anything like that. We've got the snare drum part on the great cheese grater. Uh, Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee. And we've got the Serdo bass part using a wheelie bin, a box. Something that creates a deep sound. So give it a go guys, I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna show you a clip now of all them parts together. Enjoy. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you ready? Yes, we are. One, two, three, four. Thanks for watching. There's more videos coming soon to help you beat the boredom.